kitchen's a mess. Tried to find a shot that didn't show the chaos. Because it's Monday morning, and typically Monday morning, uh, following a weekend, you know, everything that goes on with the weekend, especially Sunday, Monday morning is usually the worst day for the kitchen. Trying some black rifle coffee. Oh, <clears throat> it's actually about almost 8 a.m. I've been up since 5.30. I've been from a walk. I did two miles this morning, which I typically do three, but I'm really, really tired from the weekend. I went to a men's retreat. I left here Wednesday of last week, and then I got home late Saturday, and then Sunday is always a busy, busy day. <laughs> That's Gus. He's looking out the window. Apparently he sees a dog or a squirrel or a bird or some other dog is peeing on his mailbox post or who knows. What's going on, Gus? You okay? All right, sit. Anyway, uh, I actually weighed this morning and uh, I had gained a little bit of weight from Wednesday morning before I left for the men's retreat. I did not, I did not alter, I did, well, I did alter. I did not break the carnivore diet. I stuck with carnivore. I don't know if I ate too much or I ate too little. I was really busy. So Wednesday, the coffee's ready. Wednesday on the ride uh, to the conference center, I stopped at Full Moon Barbecue and I had uh, some pulled pork and what they call hot links, which is a sausage, yay long, and uh, it's really good. That's what I had. No barbecue sauce, no sauces, no sides, no nothing, just the pulled pork and that. Uh, Thursday, uh, on Thursday, there's a grill competition, and I'm the guy that uh, runs the grill competition. I am the grill master. And so uh, I did start the day with some sardines, as I had been doing for about a week. And then all day Thursday, you know, I, I'm not, these, these grill teams, they share. And so all day Thursday, hey, here, have a bite of this. Here, have a bite of this. Here, have a bite of this. Try this. And I had a lot of bites of stuff, but it didn't really amount. It didn't really amount to a lot of food. And then when we did the judging, I took three or four bites of food that I wasn't a judge, by the way. I, I, I recruit the judges, and I oversee the judging. And uh, some of the meat that was not used in the judging still there. And I'd say, here, try this. This is, you know, this is really good. So I'd, I'd take a bite. And that was all day Thursday. Friday, we went on a <clears throat> motorcycle ride. I ride motorcycle too. And um, we ate. We, we rode about 60 miles. And then we stopped at this restaurant that our president had picked out for us. And we ate, and I ordered a plate of pulled pork and brisket. And uh, no sauces, no sides, nothing, nothing like that. And then for supper Friday, I'm trying to remember what I ate. I'm not sure I ate supper Friday. And then Saturday, <clears throat> I didn't, I did, I, I ate for breakfast, I ate some scrambled eggs and some bacon. Scrambled eggs and bacon. And then on the ride home, riding with a, with a friend of mine, we were on our motorcycles, we stopped at a Jack's fast food and I, I had two hamburger patties with a piece of cheese. I didn't really want the cheese, but basically I ordered one of their hamburgers with no bun. And I probably would have been better off just to order just the meat. Probably would have been cheaper too. So that's what I had for lunch. And then when I got home, I had 
I had some bacon. I was exhausted and I had some bacon. So I really didn't eat a lot of food. Didn't eat much Saturday. Sunday, uh, I had some bacon and eggs. Not much. I think I had, well, I think I had four fried eggs and about three or four strips of bacon. And then Sunday night, I had some pig skin, pork skins, pork skins that I was dipping in butter. And then when I <clears throat> got back from my walk, I weighed, and I, I'm up a little bit, but I know, hey, I know I hadn't gained any fat. I hadn't done anything to gain any fat. If anything, if anything, if anything, uh, probably the one thing that changed over this retreat trip is that I didn't get as much water. So today's Monday, I'm home, things are back to normal, and what I'm gonna do today is I'm going to start a sardine dominant program. And when I say dominant, I don't think that I can get enough calories in eating just sardines. A can of sardines and water is about, uh, about 100 calories. And when I was doing the sardine fast, I was eating about six cans a day. So that's only 600 calories. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat a lot of sardines, but I may, like for breakfast this morning, have some eggs with my sardines. So let's go. So I have my breakfast. I had two cans of sardines that are packed in water and four scrambled eggs. A can of sardines, according to some sources, a can of sardines in water is 120 calories. Other places say it's 100 calories. So it, it doesn't really matter. That's, we'll, we'll just say there's 120. And an egg has uh, around 70 calories, 70, 72 calories. I had, I had two cans of sardines, let's just say, that was 240 calories. And I had four scrambled eggs, so that's 280, 280 calories. So I had about 400 calories for breakfast. And so I think that the challenge, the challenge is uh, for me is don't undereat. Because quite frankly, when you do when you do a sardine dominant fast or a sardine fast, sardines are so satiating. They're so filling. They're so you just you just you just really don't want to eat. And and honestly, when you know when you know that your next meal is going to be sardines, whether you like them or not, even if you like sardines, you'll get tired of sardines. And so. So it, it gets to the point where you got to really be hungry to eat because you're not just chomping at the bits for your next can of sardines. Day number one of my new sardine dominant. And by that I mean that sardines are going to be the main course. And for meal number two, what I've got is sardines with some mustard on them and one air fried chicken thigh. I got some water somewhere. Have I had mustard on sardines? That's pretty good. Day one, meal two. Okay, this is day two, and for my first meal of the day, breakfast, I had two cans of sardines, one slice of thick cut bacon, and three scrambled eggs. Now yesterday, I only got 960 calories, which is not enough, but that was four cans of sardines and some scrambled eggs, and 
a piece of uh, uh, an air fried chicken thigh. Still less than a thousand calories. So I got to try to do better than that today. So anyway, breakfast was three scrambled eggs, two cans of sardines, and one slice of thick cut. Great value bacon. Ooh, so I just had my second meal on day two. Day two, it's Tuesday. And uh, I had my second me meal. So I had, for the second meal, I had three cans of sardines. I did give Gus just a little bite. But I had three cans of sardines and one air fried chicken thigh and a quarter stick of butter. I was trying to up my calories a little bit, and I thought that the butter might be good on the sardines. It wasn't. Don't try butter on sardines. But honestly, I've been eating sardines pretty regular now for about for about a little over a little over a week, and. Uh, Yeah, I'm getting tired of sardines. But my weight, I told you that yesterday, after my Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, my four days and a Sunday, my four days going to a men's retreat, and then Sunday, that when I got on the scale yesterday morning, Monday, that I was actually up right at five pounds from what I was last Wednesday before I left. And now, I don't know why I was up. I didn't eat anything bad. I, I stayed with carnivore. It might have been the times I ate. Uh, it might have been that I didn't get enough food. Uh, I don't know what it was. But I weighed yesterday, and I was five pounds up from what I was last Wednesday. And I, I didn't really fret over that. And uh, today, when I weighed, I was about two and a half of, a, two and a half of those pounds back down. So, day two, meal two. Gotta love them sardines. <laughs> All right, day three of my current uh, sardine dominant diet. How many days am I going to do this? Well, I was just thinking about three, but I don't know. Uh, my weight's dropping. I did finish up yesterday. I didn't tell you, but I finished up yesterday, this yesterday evening with two boiled eggs. So my total calorie intake yesterday was about 1,400 calories, I do believe. This morning, I went for my walk. Uh, Gus and I walked for two miles. And then I, I had breakfast and I had uh, three scrambled eggs, two cans of sardines, and two strips of bacon. And I didn't plan on two strips of bacon, but I burnt Felicia's bacon. So I'd cook her another piece and I ate her burnt piece along with my, my burnt piece. So anyway, three, three scrambled eggs, two cups of sardines, two slices of bacon. Uh, I'm hitting the water, and this is day three. I'm finished with day three, meal one. Just finished my second meal of day three. And as I was driving home for a late lunch, really not hungry, but on Wednesdays, I have a Bible study, and then I get home late, and I don't want to eat that late. So I figure if I'm going to get some calories in, I better do it in the middle of the day. I just could not, because, number one, because I wasn't hungry. I couldn't, well, number two, because I wasn't hungry. And number three, because I wasn't hungry. I just could not, the thought of eating another can of sardines was just... So I know that'll pass. So what I did is took three boiled eggs, chopped them up, put a little bit of olive oil mayonnaise in there and a can of diced ham. 
and a little squirt of mu yellow mustard, and I made myself a diced ham egg salad, and I just ate it right out of the bowl. It wasn't great. It wasn't great, but it wasn't sardines. So, and I've, I've added up my calories, and I'm still only up to 800, I think it was 840 calories for the day. Here we are. It's been about two hours since my last video clip. Same day, this is day three. It's in the afternoon, after meal number two. I was taking a little bit of a break and while I was doing that, I was watching some of the uh, videos on YouTube about the sardine challenge, sardine fast. And even though I'm not doing a sardine fast, I'm, I'm, in, I'm doing a sardine dominant diet. And I may go to a fast tomorrow. I'm thinking about it. But anyway, I, uh, I was watching some videos and I was listening to uh, some of the uh, ideas about making the sardines more uh, tasty. Now, now, let me say this. I, I don't dislike sardines. But I grew up eating sardines on a saltine cracker with Louisiana hot sauce. So we don't have the saltine cracker. I don't dislike sardines, but they're very satiating. And when you think, well, I really need to eat something, but you're full from the sardines you ate before, I guess you just shouldn't eat, but trying to get in a certain amount of calories. I don't dislike sardines. I, I think that today I'm just, I think that today I'm just a little burnt out. So one of the ladies that I was watching said, you know, you should get the sardines and the olive oil, which I don't think they have sardines and olive oil at our local Walmart. They have them in soybean oil, but I'm not eating that mess. Um, but they, but she said they were, she was talking about, and then I went and watched some of Dr. Boz, how you need the fat, you need the fat with the sardine, and that makes it, the, the macros, which I don't really count, 75 to 25 fat to protein, which, and it beasts your, it beasts your, it, it boosts your metabolism, your ketones go up, and even though I don't have a way to check my, my ketones, I, I believe that's happening because just as soon as I got back from my week, my trip last week, and got back on the sardines like I was before, I started dropping weight again. And so, one of the ideas was to eat the sardines, if you can't get the sardines in olive oil, to eat the sardines with some avocado mayonnaise. Now, I don't have avocado mayonnaise, but I do have some olive oil, avocado oil mayonnaise. I do have some olive oil mayonnaise. We, that's what we buy to keep from getting the soybean oil or something nasty like that. So, after watching the videos and feeling encouraged a little bit, I decided to go eat a can of sardines and put a little bit of that olive oil mayonnaise on them. So I opened up one can, I salted them, and then I just used a little bit of mayonnaise. I mean, it wasn't even much. It was just enough. It was just enough that I had just a, just a smear of mayonnaise on each sardine. And I got to tell you, it was pretty good. Now I'm full as a tick. And I, I will not be eating. I, I'm 99.9% I'm .9 sure it's, it's uh, about to be 4 p.m. and 4 p.m., 4 o'clock in the afternoon. I'm 99.999% .99 sure that I won't be eating anything else today on day three. There you go. Three days are completed on my sardine dominant diet. 
And in those three days, I started Monday. I started Monday morning, and I was at 269.7 pounds, I believe. And this morning on Wednesday morning, three days later, I was at 265. And so I, there's no doubt that the sardines in the diet are uh, helping produce the ketones and helping to uh, burn some fat. <clears throat> Keep in mind that I'm, I'm not, haven't been doing a sardine fast. I have been eating other things. Sardines have been the dominant food in my plate. And uh, even though I'm finished with day three, for instance, this morning on the beginning of day four, I had four scrambled eggs and two cans of sardines and one strip of bacon. And so there's sardines in every meal. So uh, that's four and a half pounds in three days. I'm going to continue. I'll come back and I'll give you an update. Stay cool.